All right, so that's another example in our recursion section. And in this video, what we are going to do is to write a function that receives some natural number, num, and returns the factorial of this number. And for those of you who is not so familiar with what factorial is, let's explain it in simple terms. So a factorial by its definition is just a mathematical operation and it's defined to be as the multiplication of all natural numbers from one up to a given num. So very similar to how we used to find uh, the sum of all the numbers from one up to num, the factorial simply finds the multiplication of all the numbers, of all the natural numbers from one to a given num. So for example, if we want to calculate the factorial for num equals to three, then our recursive function should return the result of one multiplied by two multiplied by three, which is a total of six. And if we want to calculate the factorial for num equals to five, then our recursive function should return the result of one multiplied by two and so on up to five, which is a total of 120. So basically we can say that the function for a given num should return the following result of one multiplied by two multiplied by three and so on up until a given num. So num minus one will be our uh, one element before the last one and num will be our last uh, element in this multiplication factorial formula. Not so complicated, right? And it's basically it's pretty similar to the previous example. We can see that uh, the only thing that changed between this example to the previous one is that we just, instead of using the addition operator, we are just using the multiplication. So also very similar to the previous question, uh, so you will be able to write the factorial function with is. I suggest using the same approach as we did previously in just to show you the multiplication from left to right. So instead of taking a look at this formula from the left to the right, right from one multiplied by two and so on. We will look at from right to left, which is num multiplied by num minus one and so on and so forth. You've got the idea. The result will be the same. We didn't change anything, just the order that we look at the multiplication, but the, the overall result is going to be the same. And now it's time for some hands-on in our programming language. So let's go.